the president has asked me to convey to you that he's sending his energy bill to the floor with a call for a 10% reduction. The president's expecting our full support. Yes, he is. The Sydney. president's dreaming, AJ. The president Sydney has critically misjudged reality. If he honestly thinks that the environmental community is going to whistle a happy tune while rallying support around this pitifully lame mockery of environmental leadership, then your boss is the chief executive of Fantasyland. Good morning, Mr. President. How are you today? I couldn't be better. My apologies for the interruption. Mr. President, I don't know what to say. I'm speechless. All evidence to the contrary. What would happen if I called Sydney Wade and asked her to be my date at the state dinner on Thursday evening? <sighs> the President can't just go out on a date. I'm having dinner at the White House. I'm having lunch at the Kremlin. I don't know what happened. One minute I was calling him a mockery of an environmental leader. The next minute I had a date. She didn't say anything about me. Well, no, sir, but I can pass her a note before study hall. Would you like to dance? <sighs> yeah, I guess. I mean, yes, sir. I'd love to. Never mind that she is the hired gun of an ultra-liberal political action committee. And never mind that his 12-year-old daughter is sleeping down the hall. Lucy, are you okay with this? Am I having dinner with a lady? Dad, it's cool. Just go for it. Never mind any of that, folks. My name is Bob Rumson, and I'm running for president. In the past seven weeks, 59% of the country has begun to question your family values. This poll doesn't talk about my presidency. This poll talks about my life. I, I gotta nip this in the bud. This has catastrophe written all over it. Sydney, the man is the leader of the free world. He's brilliant. He's funny. He's an above-average dancer. Isn't it possible our standards are just a tad high? Do you think there'll ever be a time when you can stand in a room with me and not think of me as the president? Once upon a time, in a mansion on Long Island, in a world of money, all work and no play made Linus Larrabee a billionaire. I just don't feel like buying any more networks this year. There's never anything good on. All play and no work made his brother David a different kind of billionaire. So you guys work Sundays now, huh? It's Wednesday, David. I would like to propose a toast. Not only is this the joining forever of two gorgeous people, but two gorgeous companies. And the Larrabees here, here. were about to live happily ever after when someone made an unexpected appearance and awakened something magical in all of them. Hello. Hello, Sabrina. Sabrina? <laughs> you look all grown up. Sabrina? Why does he keep saying that? She's like a sister to him, Patrick. I have a sister. That's not how we dance. It's right in front of your future in-laws. You are hustling the chauffeur's daughter. There's something about Sabrina. I know this sounds crazy, but I really think that I'm falling in love with her. Hi. I don't want him trying to break off the engagement. This whole thing happened in 24 hours. I can make it unhappy in 48. You're talking about my life. I pay for your life, David. My life makes your life possible. I resent that. So do I. I like Sabrina. I always have. But I'm not about to kiss off a billion dollars. I don't care what she did to her hair. You know, you are not exactly what people say you are. What do they say I am? That you're the world's only living heart donor. No. That. It's so sad that you're so taken over by what you did. I do what my dad did. He, he did what his dad did. Our lost cause then. Yes, I may Paramount dream Pictures presents a film by Sidney Pollack. You convinced me that there were some things missing in my life. How can like they come true? 
If there oh, will life. never, ever I got a surprise for you. I got one for you, too. <laughs> Harrison Ford, Julia Armand, Greg Kinnear, Sabrina. You ever heard me referred to as the world's only loving heart donor? <laughs> Mr. Phelps. This is your mission should you choose to accept it. Should you or any member of your IM force be caught or killed, the secretary will disavow all knowledge of your actions. Ethan Hunt will be your point man as usual. Good luck, Jim. Simple game. Always. It's much worse than you think. We're being ambushed. Abort, that's an order. They knew, they knew we were coming. Do you read me? I don't care how he did it. I want to know why he did it. You're worried about me. Why you survived. Sure, we can find something I have that you need. These guys are trained to be ghosts. Let's not waste time chasing after him. Let's make him come to us. Find something that's personally important to him and you squeeze. seen me very upset. This tape will self-destruct in five seconds. 